What's up guys, the day is finally here. We got the grill install for the Raptor style F-150 2018-2019 grill. Uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, so I apologize, you know, I've had a lot of stuff going on with the holidays. Uh, my brother actually is narrating this. He has a YouTube channel as well, so check him out. I'll put a link. It's uh, the 305 Garage, and uh, he's been doing pretty good for himself. He's got, got a lot of good content, so uh, check that video out as well. He has a, uh, a Raptor, basically the same gr uh, grill video. I just kind of put my little intro on it. Um, I'm going to be doing more content with him as well in the future. Uh, I have my Morimoto headlight video coming out next as well, so check that out. But without further ado, here is the Raptor grill install for 2018-19 F-150. So this is my brother's 2018 F-150 STX 5.0. Today we'll have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install this Raptor lookalike grill. Give your truck that Raptor look without the Raptor price. We got the Raptor grill unboxed and we've already attached the Ford letters to it. They don't come attached, you have to do that. My brother purchased this Raptor lookalike grill on eBay. I will place a link down below if you'd like to purchase this item. So far the quality seems to be spot on. For our first step, let's pop the hood. Next step is grab a wrench with a seven millimeter socket and you want to remove the two fasteners on both sides of the truck for the lower bumper cover. After that, gently pop off each side of the lower bumper filler. Once you pop both sides off, you want to be careful as you remove the bumper cover to not damage it. Now grab yourself a cat claw and pry up the 14 quick connects on the upper portion of the grill. You can also use a small plastic pry bar. Once you get those quick connectors removed, you can simply remove the factory upper grill cover and set it aside. Now grab yourself a 10 millimeter socket and you want to remove the four fasteners on the top portion of the factory grill assembly. Once you remove the fasteners, you want to remove the factory wiring harness connectors. Do not start the truck with these connectors disconnected. You will trigger a check engine light code. After that, take your cat claw and pry up the wiring connector harness. Set them aside. Now grab a eight millimeter socket and you want to remove both fasteners to the lower left and right of the factory grill. Do not remove the fasteners for the headlights. They are not necessary to be removed. Now remove the two upper last remaining quick connectors. At this point, you're able to carefully Pull the grill forward, it will snap loose and you can set it aside. Grab yourself a 10 millimeter socket and we need to remove the two fasteners to the left and right of the factory grill to factory air shutter. Also remove the center fastener. Once you get that done, grab your cat claw or your plastic pry bar and remove the quick disconnectors on the bottom of the splash shield. Now position the grill as seen and take your fingers and pry on the metal clips and push them out to release the factory grill from the air shutter system. Separate it as such. Now grab the wiring harness from the Raptor lookalike grill, separate the three connectors, and you want to plug those in to the new Raptor grill as such.
Now we want to grab the factory air shutter system and we want to place it on top of the Raptor lookalike grill and reattaching the connectors. Make sure when you place your shutter system on the new grill, you route the wiring harness as seen. Simply push it the remainder of the way until all four connectors snap in place. Now grab the splash shield and replace it, pushing in the quick plastic connectors. You also want to replace the quick connectors on the top portion of the Raptor grill. These two bolts on each side of the factory shutter system are not used or attached to anything on the Raptor lookalike grill, as well as the center bolt. Once you've got everything put together, now grab the Raptor grill assembly with a factory air shutter and carefully place it on the truck and snap it in place. Route the wiring harness as seen. Once you route the harness, attach it using zip ties. Now you can plug back in the factory air shutter wiring harnesses. At this point, reattach the lower left and right grill to vehicle fasteners. Also reattach the four upper fasteners. You can now replace the upper grill shield. Grab the plastic quick connectors and pop them back in as seen. Now grab the lower bumper filler piece. I recommend using two people and snap each side in place as seen. Once you re-snap it in place, you can reattach the two fasteners on both sides of the truck. Now we need to remove the factory air box to allow clearance to connect the wiring harness. You can either set it aside or remove it completely, up to you. Reach down below and disconnect the parking light wiring harness as seen. Strip off the electrical tape to allow for connections. Cut the Raptor grill wiring harness to length. Strip the Raptor wiring harness as seen. Keep in mind your red is the positive and your black is the negative. Grab the quick wiring splice connectors and attach it to the wiring harness as such. Connect it to the black and green wire first, that is your negative. Insert the negative black cable from the Raptor grill harness into the quick connector. Grab a pair of pliers and squeeze tightly. Slip the last quick splice connector on the green wire, which is your positive wire on the factory harness. Then insert the red positive wire from the Raptor lookalike grill into the quick splice connector. Grab your pliers and squeeze. Once you have the wiring complete, you can go ahead and reconnect the factory parking lamp wiring harness. Before you proceed, turn on the parking lights and test the lights in the Raptor grill. Once everything is good, you can reinstall the factory air box.
forgot he had it in reverse. <laughs> that was a weak burnout.